I'm David Pittard and I'm a professional racing driver and driver coach. My family's always been into motorsport, uh, only as a spectator. Uh, how I was fortunate enough to race um, a, a lengthy karting career from when I was eight years old up until I was 17, uh, of which I then uh, took it to the next level uh, by going into um, production sports car racing. Uh, I've always had my heart set on the sort of British Touring Car Championship and ultimately the normal 24 hours. I've raced a number of different sports cars over the years, uh, from Porsche Carrera Cup cars. Uh, I've mainly honed my skills in Ginetta cars, so GT5, GT4, um, finishing runner-up in the Ginetta Super Cup Championship, uh, supporting the British Touring Cars. Uh, I've made my professional uh, sports car debuts over in America, uh, the Middle East, uh, Australia. So yeah, it's, it's um, a fairly varied uh, career so far, which I uh, aim to continue. Bedford Autodrome, um, Palm Sport Days uh, is where I effectively took up my, or started my coaching career, and I spent my summers bombing around the circuits up there. And it's I like and driver coaching to the second best thing to um, actually driving a car. It's another excuse to be out on the circuit, it's another excuse to go fast um, and I enjoy uh, just progressing drivers to effectively uh, achieve the results that they want to achieve. So off the back of that, um, from a number of years at Palmer Sport, I've then gone into private coaching off of my own racing success. I've then uh, coached other drivers in other championships, sort of full length, working with them for over years as opposed to kind of your uh, day sessions that you get at Palmer Sport and yeah as I, as I mentioned I absolutely love it and uh, you say I'm old I'm young sorry at 23 coaching but uh, I've been coaching since I was 18 so um, even if I was 18 I've had a road license for a year uh, I've still been driving 10 years um, fast so I've got 10 years experience to pass on to the chaps up next to me in the driver's seat. The initial sort of interaction was at the Henry Surtees uh, Karting Challenge, another charity event. The Team Brit guys were entered uh, and I think I must have finished fairly close to them in, in one of the races or one of the practice sessions and uh, got talking to, to them during the day uh, in which I then offered my coaching services again to their, the kart team at the time. I did a day with them at Rye House driving the hand control cart. So it was a great opportunity to then experience how uh, Mark and some of the other guys were driving, but with hand controls. I'm so comfortable with karting, uh, with driving, sorry, and then completely turning it on its head by having um, effectively bicycle style brakes as a throttle and a brake on, on, on a big bar, which was the steering wheel at the same time. So I did enter the hairpin, the first hairpin very quickly and, and go for the brake and quickly realize and then needed to use the, um, the, left, um, the left hand brake, um, which was um, completely yeah, alien to me. But it took a little while, it didn't take as long as I thought to get um, up to speed with it. Um, and by the end, um, I, I believe I managed to increase the guy's um, performance over the day. Uh, and one of the guys actually ended up being quicker, to, quicker than me, which I was not happy about. But uh, again, it's a testament to the guys that they have got some, some raw pace. Um, and with a bit of honing, um, they can then convert that into results on, on track. And from that initial involvement, um, I've been lucky to drive for Team Brit um, in the endurance racing series at the beginning of last year, where they took their debut race win. Um, driving in the three hours back then and um, I've followed their progress throughout 2015 where they took uh, a number of wins in a row um, and I'm now back again for the Silverstone 24 hours which uh, I'm hugely excited about um, and it's great to be a part of such a, a great cause, um, a great challenge um, and a great group of guys as well. This is David Pittard supporting Team Brit Alive to Drive.